And in other matters, hospitality and tourism operators are banking on the return of flamingos at Lake Nakuru after a four-year absence to attract tourists back into the area. Lake Nakuru National Park Depu uh, Deputy uh, Park Warden Carolyn Mwebia uh, says the Kenya Wildlife Service has earmarked 40 million shillings for repairing roads in the park to smooth to, move, to smoothen movement of tourists. After a four-year absence, thousands of flamingos have flocked back to Lake Nakuru after a nesting and breeding season in Tanzania's Lake Natron. The migration coincided with the tourism peak season in Kenya, treating the area to an almost forgotten phenomenon. I come from Paris, France, and I am here especially to see the flamingos because I've been told they are back, so it's something incredible I want to see with my whole family. Lake Nakuru, which was named the most colorful lake in the world in 2015, when an assortment of wildlife dotted the water body, has seen its stature take a hit after the bus migrated due to the rising water levels in the lake. And since most of the Rift Valley lakes are flooded, we've seen that like Lake Bagoria is really flooded. So they're looking for places where they can find food. And most likely, Lake Nakuru, some of the areas are a bit shallow. And that's why we are seeing a good number along the lake shores. However, this year, despite high water levels, flamingos have flocked the shallow parts of the lake. Most of the animals, they want, they want, they want their own time. They want privacy, uh, so that they can breed, they can feed. So any moment there's disturbance, maybe approaching vehicles approach very close to the lake. Sometimes you'll find them flying away. The Kenya Wildlife Service has earmarked 40 million shillings to repair the road network at the Lake Nakuru National Park to ease movement. Benson Rio reporting for Channel One Business.